Perkins here. Thanks so much for joining me for my preview of the 2019 Ohio State Buckeyes. Now, before I go any farther, if you don't know me, I'm Bobby Durkins. Hit subscribe and turn on notifications. Find me on Twitter at B Durkins, on Instagram at the Bobby Durkins. I had to think about that for a second. Anyway, I say Ohio State. I don't have to say no more. They're, they're, they're football tradition. Speaks for itself. I mean, good Lord, you got to think, even even the old Tigers back here, we we got to, we even got ties to you. I mean, that's how Woody Hayes got fired because he punched Charlie Bowman in the Gator Bowl because he didn't think we were going to be. Anyway, Ohio State is what they are. Uh, last year was very interesting, all the stuff that went on in the offseason. Love him or hate him, Urban Meyer is... Uh, an incredible football coach. Um, truth be known, had they not been on that bowl band because of because of Trestle and everything went on there, they'd have probably at least played in the national championship his very first season there. He won the national championship, I mean, just absolutely killing everybody. So, let's talk about them. Let's talk about them. Let's talk about what went on. Last year, they went 13-1. and They won the Rose Bowl against Washington. Uh, that one loss was massive because here's the deal. It's one thing to lose by a couple of points, seven points, maybe ten. We might start to squint at 14. You got hammered by Purdue. I watched that game. I went to the emergency room. They said, Mr. Durkins, what is your symptoms? I said, I think I'm having a stroke. They said, why? I said, because I was sitting at home watching Ohio State play Purdue. And Purdue's killing them. And then I turned on the television and said, Mr. Durkins, you're totally fine. This is actually happening. And they charged me five grand for it because you know how the emergency room is. Anyway, that's what kept you out of the playoffs. Like it or not. Dwayne Haskins had such a good season that between you and I, nothing against JT Barrett. I'm just being honest here. I believe you would have been better off had Haskins been playing at least a year before so he had two years at the helm. That's just me. Outside of looking in. You know, I just pull for these guys who's won two out of the past three national championships. I don't know what I'm talking about, obviously. Dwayne Haskins, he ended up going to New York. Felt bad for him because, you know, he had to sit there and listen to uh, about the other two guys all, all night. But that guy put up outrageous numbers. I mean, stuff that'd make you go, whew, I knew I'd been drinking. But Lord, those numbers are really high. Uh, they were. They really, really were. They're higher than most people who's sitting out in Colorado right now. They young and play football. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about this coming season. We know that you have a brand new day in Ohio State. I couldn't pass that up. Ryan Day is the uh, new coach there. Uh, got my, I got, I got my little notes right here. Ryan Day uh, taking over, and he's never been a head coach before. You know, he didn't start out at like Bowling Green and work his way up. He is literally taking over the Ohio State Buckeyes. So, you know what I is going to do? I will tell you that he has the talent. And he's playing in a conference to where the, if he just calls, has them boys call solid plays, they're going to the conference championship. All right? Okay? And it is what it is. I know that Michigan is the favorite this year. I know everybody's just dying for Michigan to be back. But there's one thing I can tell you, Ohio State fans. And I'm not trying to earn points with you. I'm just telling you the truth. Outsider looking in. I got a dog in the fight. Or a chestnut roasting on open fire. That's a Buckeye reference. But there's one thing I know about Michigan and Michigan State. Is that they know how to mess up a good thing. I don't care who they recruit. I don't care how good their team is. They know how to mess up something. I've looked at Michigan and Michigan State's rosters. And I'm telling you, I still believe you're going to win it. So, okay, you lose Dwayne Haskins. 
Uh, Justin Fields transfers in from Georgia. We know he's number one recruit year before last. Uh, Georgia fans, quick tell us, Clemson fans, we all, all got the number two recruit. We're fine with number two. Trevor Lawrence will do just well for us. Uh, but Justin Fields is, you know, he's highly recruited. Uh, you guys have a lot of really, really good talent on your team. You know it. Uh, you Now, I will tell you this. On the offensive side of the ball, you've lost a lot. You've lost a lot. Uh, you do have J.K. Dobbins coming back. Uh, uh, you got K.J. Hill coming back. But you lost, you lost like Paris Campbell. That's a big deal. And then your offensive line, you, you, you took some big losses there. Okay? That's why people are giving Michigan the benefit of the doubt. On the defensive side of the ball, we know you lost Nick Bosa. Heck, you lost Nick Bosa last year. Barely played. I don't blame him because he can go make millions of dollars or he can get his degree and keep playing and all that bunch of stuff and go get a regular job. I don't blame him. I know it's hard to hear, but I would even have to say it about Clemson players. Uh, but Nick Bosa, you're losing somebody else. Can't remember your name right off the top of my head, but overall you're returning uh, nine starters off the defense. I'm going to jump right into your season. I, I, I'm not going to go through every player, why I think they're going to do good, what they're eating for breakfast in the morning. Look, you can go find a bunch of people who does that. I'm not going to tell you the circumference of your left tackle's left nostril. I ain't going to do that. I ain't going to help you. I'm just going to tell you what I'm looking at, what I'm seeing, what overall is going to work. And here we go. Very first game of the season. You play Florida Atlantic. Now, I'm going to stop here and tell you this. I can't help but like Lane Kiffin. I know, I know, I know. But tell me, you wouldn't like to go to the beach or on a cruise with Lane Kiffin. I would. Now, last year, he was supposed to do a lot better. I thought they were going to do well. They, they had a lot of good players returning and so on. And his very first season, started off kind of bad, and then they took off. And I thought, man, they're going to kill it. Yeah, they got killed last year. Uh, got hammered in the very first game against Oklahoma. They were in Norman. I really don't know how they're going to do this season. They're picked to win their conference. I will tell you that. I've heard several people who call themselves experts say that they're, they're going to win their conference. And I don't... I, I don't blame them. I said I saw the players. It's tra you should rename Florida Atlantic to Transfer University, cause a bunch of fantastic football players. That's a really stupid word I'm like to use recently. Fantastic. Uh, my wife's been using it a lot, and it's got in my head. A lot of really good football players been transferring into Florida Atlantic. Just is what it is. A lot of them's in trouble, but they've been transferring in. I think they'll fight you, but. You're going to win that game. Next game, Cincinnati. Uh, Cincinnati's picked to win their conference by a lot of the experts. You're going to win that game. You're going to win that game. They might fight you. You're at Indiana. Indiana. It's not a basketball game. You're winning this one. Miami of Ohio. They also ha always have to put of Ohio at the end because everybody starts to get a little excited like, the U is showing up. No, that's just those other guys. You'll beat them. This is a trap game to me. You're at Nebraska. Look, I know Scott Frost struggled last year. Do you know what a sewage doo-doo pond he took over last year? I mean, it's been a doo-doo pond since about since he left. People's like, who should fire him? I'm like, what? You Nebraska fans are still living in 1999? Y'all ain't that good anymore. Chill out. This guy is your only hope. They return enough players that they're predicted by a lot of people to win their side of the conference. If there's a game and if there's an atmosphere that I would not go, hey, I think we're going to win. This would be it. Don't blow it against Nebraska because I'm telling you, they're, I think, I think they're coming back. Might be slowly, but surely. Play Michigan State. Listen, Michigan State, they return a lot of players. It is what it is. It's Michigan State. They always find a way to blow it. Then you're off. 
Then you're at Northwestern. Pat Fitzgerald like Pat Fitzgerald. I like him. I mean, I know Ohio State's a good university. Northwestern is an outrageously good university. It's like going to Stanford or something. Here's the problem. GPAs and SAT scores means absolutely nothing when you hit the uh, football field. I believe they're going to play you hard. They've got our former quarterback, our backup, a five-star, Hunter Johnson playing for him. Kid can move and he can throw. What can everybody else around him do? I believe you win this game, but they're going to fight you. Next week, you play Wisconsin. Wisconsin having to replace their offensive line. And they have a true freshman quarterback unless some miracle happens and they let somebody else start. Though they have Jonathan, uh, uh, Jonathan, what's his name, Taylor at Youngin. He's talented. He's incredible. you got to have more than a few players. You guys win this game. They're off again. Next week you play Maryland. I know Maryland is only second to Florida Atlantic having pl good players from other teams transfer into them. I know they got the new the new head coach from Alabama. But at the end of the day, you're going to beat them. At Rutgers, <laughs> you're going to beat them. Penn State, I know James Franklin's going to be bouncing around on the sideline and he's going to have something good to say and he's, he's going to have some slogan he's been trying all summer to get up and ride up and then he's got all the fans there in Happy Valley holding up and they're happily holding it up in Happy Valley. Y'all are still going to beat them. At Michigan. I'm going to go ahead and tell you this. I don't have a problem with Michigan. I really don't. And I probably now ticks you off. I don't have a problem with them. Here's what I do have a problem with. Any team, any team being shoved down my throat year after year after year that they are not only a top seven team, but they're a contender for the national championship. And since Harwell got there, that's what they've been consistently doing to all of us non-Michigan fans. Now, I know it's extra sensitive for y'all because I know how it makes me feel, and I pull for those guys. By the way, those guys would meet Michigan anywhere in the middle of a parking lot in a pickup game and murder them. But I just don't buy into Michigan. I know who they got coming back. But I know, also know who they lost from last season. I know their coach has more experience than your current head coach. Maybe I'm going out on the limb, or maybe I've learned my lesson with Michigan. Though Michigan I wasn't impressed with last year. You're going to beat Michigan. Period. You're going to beat them. End of story. Uh, my games, once again, I go over that. I believe that it's going to be a trap game. I, I, I really look at your schedule. I, 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 I'm not worried for you. In fact, I think you're a playoff contender. Uh, only thing that could stop you is your coaching. Coaching in Nebraska. Watch Nebraska come out and y'all beat them by 50 and you're like, who didn't know what he's talking about? I'm just telling you, that's the game I look at and I say, that's where they could miss it. That's the game... Because if I'd have told you a year ago that Purdue was going to make you look like a middle school team, you'd have said, he's drunk. And then it happened. All right, well, do I think you're going to make it to the college football playoff? Uh, if you do what I just said, you're definitely in the running. I'll decide that by the end of the summer, right before football season kicks off, and I'll let you know whether I think you actually make it or not. But I definitely think you win your conference. All right, I'm Bobby Durkins. Hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications. Find me on Twitter at bdurkins and on Instagram at the Bobby Durkins. Remember, I'm Bobby Durkins. You keep showing up. I keep showing out, Bobby Durkins. <laughs>